This is Mr. Humbert. I teach up at the high school. I teach CTE, uh, and I'm going to show you a lesson or uh, or lead a lesson here, having to do with architecture. Uh, architects design really almost every building that you see around you. Uh, I did architecture. I was an architect before I was a teacher, and got to design everything from small pieces of houses to um, an entire house to schools to even buildings like soccer stadiums and baseball stadiums and rec centers uh, and the Olympics. Um, so I want to give you a sort of an introduction to architecture. If, if you like drawing and art and you're kind of good at math and you, you like building things and maybe tearing things apart, uh, you might want to think about taking some classes that have to do with architecture and, and maybe going to college and becoming an architect. So I want to just kind of introduce that to you today. Um, when an architect puts together a set of drawings to build something, it looks like this. This is what we call a construction drawing um, of a house, and it's really only one floor of a house. You can see the stairs right here. You can see stairs over here that go up to an outside deck, and you can see stairs inside that go up and down. This goes up to the next floor. This goes down to like the basement or the floor below. No architect, no matter how good she is or he is, could start with this much information on a drawing. They're going to start much more simple. Um, they're going to start, well, bef before, let's see, I'll just show you. They start with what we call a bubble diagram. So this diagram is really this house over here, but it starts as an idea. And this is what I want you all to work on today, is bubble out. Um, what I'm suggesting is your dream bedroom. Um, this is the entire house. So you can see it's a bubble that is kind of the shape of the front porch, a living room, which you can see that is bigger than like this bathroom. This bathroom is a little bit bigger than this closet, which looks like the smallest room in the house. There's the kitchen over here and there's the stairs here. Okay. And this looks like the front door. So once you have this, you can kind of see that the shape of the house is already long and rectangular and not a big square. And you can understand which rooms are next to each other. And that's about all you want to do. Um, I'm going to show you how, how to do this um, on a piece of paper in just a minute. So if, if you could, you, you should be doing this today. You should start a bubble diagram. Like I said, I would suggest we do um, your, your dream bedroom. And that could be like a bedroom with a porch and a closet and maybe your own bathroom. And you already have several spaces you need to figure out like which one goes next to which one. How do you get from one room to the next? You know, in this diagram, you can see you'd walk from this kitchen through this hallway into the living room and out to a porch. But you can't get from the kitchen straight to the porch because it's way over there. So once you have this bubble diagram laid out, the next thing an architect would do is start laying it out in what we call a schematic design. Okay, this is really like starting to understand your design. And so, again, we have the same relationship. Kitchen's over here, hallways in the middle, living is over here, uh, living room's over here. You know, there's a door here to the front porch. The stairs up and down are in the middle. There's a little bathroom and a little tiny closet, just like the bubble diagram. Okay, and I think that's about all you guys could do today, is bubble out your dream, and then once you have your bubbles organized, which are literally bubbles, okay, notice there's no space between the bubbles um, unless this is like an outside stair, but this hallway is directly connected to the kitchen, right? This hallway is directly connected to the bathroom. So that's how you want to lay out your ideas. Then you could really start over again on another piece of paper and get more real, okay? Um, I'm going to show you next um, on a real piece of paper how I would start doing this. Hi everyone, this is Mr. Humbert again. Um, I wanted to show you after having uh, explained what a bubble diagram is and how a bubble diagram gets developed into a design which turns into construction drawings, how I would do it on paper. So um, all of you should have a piece of paper. You know, if you have big paper, that's that's going to be more space to draw. If you have a, a small piece of paper, 
you know, like copy paper like this, that works just fine too. Um, I'm going to draw big just because I, I like to draw big and I think it's easier to see. So I'm going to bubble out my house. Um, let me see if I can turn this a little bit. Okay, so you can see it and I'll hold it up for you. Um, my house has a living room, has a, a kitchen back here. Okay, and I kind of draw bubbles and bubbles and bubbles till it looks about right. Over here, I have a bedroom. I have another bedroom back here. There's a little bathroom right there. And then I forgot between, you can see so far, this is what I've got. Okay, um, I forgot my stairs, so I'm just going to add a stair right there. Let me make it look like stairs. Okay. Oh, and then I have a, a breakfast nook, which kind of looks like this, off the kitchen. Okay, so that's the start of a bubble diagram. Really quick, took me about a minute. Um, I'm going to write on it kitchen, um, living room, bedroom, bedroom, bath, which is my stair down. There's the front door. There's the back door. And there you go. The start of a bubble diagram. Okay. Um, if I was working on a bedroom, I would say, okay, my dream bedroom might be, I'm just going to draw a big bedroom. Think about what else you need in a bedroom. You're going to need a, like a closet, right? You might need, maybe you want to have a, like a nice deck. So I'm going to draw like out here is going to be a porch. And maybe I want to have my own bathroom. Maybe I even want to have like a, like a private place where I could, like a movie room, you know. Um, so that could be like a, a bedroom right there. And again, I would draw a bedroom. I'm going to draw like or right deck, bath, closet, and game room. Okay, and then from that, you could draw it again and start making those bubbles more like rectangles, real rectangles. Um, you could do symbols for doors, for windows. You could start putting in like the actual size of your bed. Um, you could put in furniture in it if you want, and just go to town and have fun with it. But this is how every architect starts a design, and I'd love to see you all do the same. Thank you.